welcome to our YouTube channel for PNW Yogis. I'm Karina. Hi, Brianna. So we just started this together and we're very excited for you to join us here on our mat. So today, uh, we, if you would like to use a block, you can absolutely use a block. So go ahead and grab that and we will meet you back on your mat. Uh, we will start today with just a short meditation to focus in on relieving some of that anxious feeling, those anxiety feelings. So come into a comfortable seated position, um, whether it's cross-legged, maybe if you want um, lotus pose or hero's pose, wherever you feel comfortable, um, come to seated. Close your eyes, focus in on your breath. Feel the inhale come into your body. Allow the exhale to release our doubts and our stress. Notice our thoughts. Notice as they come and they go. Don't focus on them, what they are. No judgment. Just allow them to float through our minds. Don't let ourselves get too caught up in noticing our thoughts, just focusing on our breath. Starting to visualize a tiny fish in an ocean, maybe a minnow, maybe some kind of fish that you can create. Now zoom out. Where are they? Are they in the middle of the ocean? Are they close to shore? What is the time of day? What does the sky look like? What type of colors make up the ocean? Are there calm seas or do you feel the waves? Maybe if you see waves, you allow your breath to follow the waves rhythm. Maybe it pulls out to sea as we inhale and so we exhale, it crashes onto shore not forgetting to breathe, keeping our attention with our breath as well. Or maybe you zoom out even further. You see the entirety of the ocean. You see the outline. What shape does the ocean take? What's around it? Are there islands in your ocean? What's on the islands? Now zoom out further. What type of planet is this ocean that you've created on? Is it Earth or is it your own creation? What shape is it? What are those colors again that make up the ocean that you've created? How big is it from here? Do you see the whole planet? What's around the planet? Now here, bringing our attention back to our breath. Feel the inhale. Allow the exhale to release our doubts and our anxiety. Bringing our awareness back into our bodies. Here we'll thank ourselves that no matter what has happened this week or this day, even this month, even the craziness that comes with 2020, no matter what has happened, you are here, ready to practice on your mat today. And that is what matters. Slowly start to bring awareness back into your body. Open your eyes, feel your breath, take a few more breaths to come to center. And when you are ready, we will meet in tabletop position on our mats. We're gonna start with some nice cat cows. Inhale into our cow, feel that dip in our spine. Exhale into cat. Feel the abdomen engage. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. As we open our chest, this really starts to open up, feel our anxiety release. 
when we feel anxious, we tend to slouch and allow our front body to collapse into ourselves. So here, really focus on as we inhale into our cow pose, we open up that front body, open up that chest, aiding our body's fight against anxiety. Now do here whatever feels comfortable for you in your body. If you wanna feel some barrel rolls, go ahead and do so. And we feel twists and we can look back onto our hips. If you've done something on one side, make sure that you do it on both. From here, we'll bring weight into our left hand. Our right hand will raise up to the sky and exhale, we'll thread the needle, bring the right hand through our left side and bring our face to the mat If you would like to bring that left hand over to bind towards the right thigh, you can do as well. This really allows the chest to open up here. Again, pulling attention to opening our chest, allowing our slouching to go away. We're fighting against it. And we'll bring our left hand back to the mat. Right hand, inhale all the way up to the sky and exhale, bring it back to the mat. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Left hand raises up. As, as we exhale, we thread the needle through our arm. And if you took the bind on the other side, feel free to do so here. Again, pulling that right shoulder up towards the sky. Breathe into this posture here. And as on our next exhale, we can bring our right hand to the mat, allow the left hand to come back up on our inhale and exhale back into our tabletop. Let's step those knees back just a little bit and we're gonna come into our puppy pose from here. We can walk our hands out just a little bit, bringing our chest and our chin to the mat Feel your front body open up. Again, really work into those shoulders. Maybe you swing back and forth a little bit. Feel the opening of the chest. Remember to breathe. And on your next exhale, we'll lift back up into our tabletop position. We're gonna bring our knees under our hips again. And this time we're going to extend our right leg out to the side and engage our core, engage our glutes here. We're gonna lift up, hands to the sky. As we exhale, right hand to the leg, left hand reaches out over towards the right side of the body and we'll really feel a big stretch in our left side rib cage, left side body. Breathe into it, maybe we inhale and we expand. Exhale, we can go deeper into that stretch. And remembering as we go through this whole flow today, we're really opening our chest, as I've said many times now, and we're really focusing on allowing ourselves to get rid of that energy, that anxious energy, and we inhale, hands up to the sky. We're gonna bring our right knee back, and our left leg is gonna go out, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we exhale, left hand to the leg, right hand reaches over to the side. So like I was saying, we're really focusing on opening that body. Allowing those nerves, allowing the anxious energy to release out. We're letting it flow out of us, just like we're getting rid of all the shakes and jitters. That's what today's flow is about. We're gonna inhale both hands up to the sky. Bring that left knee underneath that left hip and we're gonna release down into child's pose. Bringing our attention back to our breath, really focusing in on feeling the inhale, feeling the exhale, 
Feel the sensations that our bodies will have throughout this practice. And here I'm going to turn it over to Brie and she will take you through the working part of our flow. One more full round of breath here in your child's pose. Really let your inhale fill up your body. And as you exhale, release all of the air from your lungs. We'll meet in tabletop here. So stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Tuck your toes and send your hips high for downward dog. Take a few minutes to get some movement here in your downward dog. Maybe bend each knee, pedal out your feet. Do whatever feels right for you in this moment. And now find your way to stillness here in your down dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. On your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. And exhale, bring that foot in between your hands, the top of your mat, and lower down your back knee for a low lunge. Um, tuck your back toes, and as you inhale, lift your hands up overhead. Make sure your hips are square here, so pull your right hip back as you let your left hip sink forward. Really opening your chest here. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, lower the hands and press back on your front heel for half split, bringing your hips back to your heels and straightening that front knee. Your toes are flexed and your chest is reaching towards your toes here, making sure not to round our backs, reaching our nose to our knee, but instead, instead expanding through the crown of the head. Take one more round of breath here. And slowly lower the front foot down to the mat, coming back into our low lunge, reaching the hands up overhead. Take another breath in. And exhale, plant the hands on the mat, untuck the back toes to lift the back knee. Step the front foot to the back and press back into downward dog. Take one full round of breath here. Then on your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. And exhale, bring that foot in between the hands, lowering the back knee, untucking the back toes. Inhale, lift your hands up for a low lunge. Again, make sure your hips are square here, so pull your left hip back and let your right hip sink forward. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower the hands to the mat, press back with the front heel, bringing your hips back towards your back of your mat for half splits. Again, make sure you're reaching forward with the crown of your head, expanding your spine here. And on your next inhale, lower that foot down to the mat, coming back into our low lunge, reaching the arms up overhead, and exhale, plant the hands on the mat, untuck the back, or tuck the back toes to lift the knee, and step straight back to plank, and then press back into downward dog. Take a deep breath in here, and a full exhale. Again, lift your right foot high, and exhale, step the foot in between the hands. This time, stay up high on the back toes, and as you inhale, rise up to high lunge here. Again, square your hips to the front of your mat. Really commit to that lunge here, making sure your knee is stacked directly over your ankle. Take a deep breath in, and we'll open to warrior two. Drop the back heel to the mat. <clears throat> Your arms are coming out to a T here, gaze over the fingertips. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, reverse your warrior. Drop your left hand down your back thigh. Right arm reaches up and over, gazes up to the sky. And as you exhale, we'll come into triangle pose. So bring your arms back to center. Straighten your front knee. Shift your hips, or tilt your pelvis forward so your hips shift backwards. And drop your front hand to the inside 
of your front shin, or you can grab a block. <clears throat> Reach your fingertips of your left hand up to the sky. Really open your chest here. Your shoulders should be stacked directly over one another. Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, bend that front knee to come out of it back into warrior two, lifting your torso and your arms up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reverse the warrior one more time. And cartwheel the arms forward down to frame the front foot. Step your front foot back to plank. Shift forward over your wrists. Lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck the back toes. Place your hands just to the sides of your ribs and take a deep breath in as you lift up for cobra, feeling your chest off of the mat, expanding across your collarbones. And exhale, lower your forehead to the mat. On your next inhale, tuck your back toe, tuck your toes, press up into plank, and shift back into downward dog. Take one full round of breath here. On your next inhale, lift your back heel to the sky, or your left leg, sorry. And exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Keep the back heel lifted as you rise up for high lunge. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, open to warrior two. Your right heel pivots down on the mat. Drop the Right hand down the back, left arm reaches up and over to reverse your warrior. Take a deep inhale. And exhale to triangle. Bring your hands over your front foot, straighten your front knee. And tick tock your arms in a 12 and 6 position here. You can grab onto a block here with your left hand if you need to. Again, expanding across the collarbones, opening the chest. One more breath. And as you exhale, bend the front knee, coming back up to warrior two. Reverse your warrior one more time. Cartwheel the arms forward to frame the front foot. Step your feet back to plank. This time we'll take a full chaturanga here. So shift forward over your wrists. Bend your elbows to lower down halfway. Flip over onto the tops of your toes and press up to up dog. Your thighs and hips are off the mat. Exhale, press into your hands to shift back to downward dog. Good, take a deep breath in and a full exhale here. We're gonna take that whole sequence one more time, one breath to one movement on each side. So on your next inhale, lift your right heel to the sky. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, rise up to high lunge. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Stay here for another breath. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Plant the hands to frame your front foot. Step back to plank. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, exhale downward dog. Inhale the left leg high, exhale step the foot in between the hands. Inhale rise up, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale reverse warrior. Exhale straighten the knee for triangle. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, come back up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Step back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, come high up on your toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Take a step forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins, crown of the head reaches forward, 
exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. And bring the hands down through prayer. We're gonna play a little bit here and do some tree pose. So at the top of your mat, shift your weight into your left foot and just sit the right toes on the mat. You can bring your hands to heart center or you can bring them up. Um, place the, your right foot wherever is comfortable, either on your calf or your thigh. You can use your hand to bring your foot up there if you need to. And focus your gaze on one point in front of you to find your balance. Really root down through that standing foot. Press up and out of your hip. And breathe here. You can bring your arms up above you. Maybe sway your arms like the branches of a tree. If you fall out of it, it's okay. Just come right back into it. And when you're ready, bring that foot back down to the mat. Shake it out a little bit. And we'll take the other side. So root down through your right foot, really shift your weight over there. Pick up your left foot and either place it on your calf or your thigh. Notice that this side may feel different, so don't worry about doing the exact same thing. You really wanna press your left foot here into your right thigh as you are equally pressing your right thigh into your left foot. And also you're rooting straight down through your right foot here on your standing leg. Find one gaze to focus on. Either bring your hands to heart center or lift them up above your head. Don't forget to breathe here. And when you're ready, bring your foot down to meet the mat and shake it out again here. We'll meet at the top of our mat in mountain pose. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a full exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, step the feet back to plank. Take your chaturanga or vinyasa flow here, either cobra or up dog. And then press back to downward dog. And from here, lower your knees to the mat and sit back into child's pose. And from here, Karina will take you into our cool down and closing meditation. So from child's pose, you can just sit your butt back, cross your ankles and come into a seated position, grab some water. I know I was sweating through that, so take a moment. Get some water. That was some work. Um, and we will come onto our back. Roll down. Start to feel a little more relaxed here. And we're gonna bring our feet just below our hips. We're gonna come into our bridge pose here a couple times through. So we're gonna bring our arms to our side, hands up in the air, elbows meeting the mat. Um, think of like a server tray in front of us. And from here, we're really gonna think about pulling our chest back towards our back wall. Thinking about a mini back bend in this. And we're feeling the engagement in our quads, not so much in our glutes, okay? So feeling this, feel our core engaged, feel our quads begin to engage, root down through your heels, pulling your chest up, pulling your hips up into our bridge, and we're gonna hold it here for a few seconds. Really feel that mini back bend. Again, this is just another posture that really opens up that chest, really allows those anxious, nervous feelings to just flow out of us. Feel the engagement in our quads, and we'll hold it here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, three, two, and one. Release it back down to the mat, 
breathe through it. Maybe you want a windshield wiper, those knees. Maybe we want to shake out our legs. However you want to do that. We're going to go one more round here. Hands up into our server position. Again, pulling that chest towards our back wall. Feel engagement in our quads. And on the next inhale, lift those hips up. Feel the engagement in the quads. Hold on to that breath. Hold this nice bridge. And from here, we're gonna pulse a few times, just slow movements in our hips, pulsing up and down for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, almost done, two, and one. And release it down, windshield wiper those legs from either side, knees fall to either side. And from here, go ahead and grab the back of your legs and we're gonna rock and roll up to seated. However many times it takes you to get there, it's all good. Sometimes I like to just rock and roll just because I can and it's fun, really shakes out the back. All right, coming in and we can scoot back a little bit, feet straight out in front of us. If you would like to get some elevation, for your butt, you can go ahead and grab one of those blocks um, and put it underneath your hips to just get a little more elevation. Remember though that we don't hyperextend our knees if we do lift our butt up a little more. So from here, we're gonna come into our forward fold. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, coming forward, pulling, allowing our chest to lead forward, not the crown of our head. We don't wanna collapse into our legs. We wanna feel our chest open up coming in front of us, allowing our chest to stay open, allowing us to breathe here. Maybe as we inhale, we grow the spine really tall, exhale, maybe it allows us to get a little further into the fold. Place your hands wherever it feels comfortable, maybe it's on our shins, maybe it's on our quads, maybe you wrap your peace fingers around your toes. Whatever is comfortable for you, keeping your spine as tall and as straight as you can. One more round of inhale, exhale here. And from here, we can lift our chest back up and we're gonna bring our legs into cobbler's pose or butterfly, whatever you want to call it. And you can, let's open our feet up like a book. Think about that. Rolling our ankles away from us. We can kind of shift back and forth on our hips. Getting some movement here. If you exhale, you can come forward, fold forward. If you inhale, maybe you want to rock from side to side. Just listen to your body. Feel the movement. Feel what feels good for you. And do that. Take that movement. Focusing in on your breath. We worked hard today. We did some good work. Allowed those nerves and anxious feelings to kind of shake off. And we're gonna bring our legs back straight. And we're gonna shake out a little more of those nerves. So let's shake those legs. Maybe we shake those arms. Feel the anxious leave our body completely. And then we're gonna roll back onto our back, slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Coming onto our back, feeling the good work we did. From here, let's bring our legs back up into bent position. And we're gonna lift our knees up to 90 degrees. And if you want to bring your arms into a T, you can, or if you can cactus them. Again, whatever feels good for your body. And we're gonna allow the knees to fall over to the right side into our supine twist. Feel the comfortableness of it. 
Allow your chest to open up. See what kind of movement you see. See what kind of sensations come out of it. If your arm is straight, if your left arm is straight, or if it's in a cactus position, or maybe it goes over your head to intensify the stretch a little more. Breathe into this. Feel your body calm back down after the work we've done today. And allow yourself to relax again. On your next inhale, bring the legs up to 90. And on your next exhale, allow them to fall to the left side. Again, playing with where your arm shape feels good. Is it out straight in a T or cactus? Or again, it may go straight up to intensify that stretch, really feeling it in the chest. Feel yourself open up here. To not only allow the anxiety out, but to allow kindness and love and acceptance in. And to know that it's okay to feel anxious and nervous, especially around this time of the year. I challenge you to just acknowledge what's happening. Not to judge it, just acknowledge it. This is what's happening right now. This is what's happening in my body what's happening in my mind and I'm okay with it on your next inhale bring your legs back up and we can exhale them back to the mat setting up for our final resting posture of Shavasana so get whatever feels comfortable if you'd like to get a blanket or if you'd like a block maybe you want to sit in Shavasana with legs up the wall it's completely up to you Palms up to the ceiling. Allow your legs to just fall to either side of the mat. Just breathe into the Shavasana. Again, thanking your body for all the hard work that you did today. And accepting what's happening inside yourself right now. Now take a moment and just breathe into this posture. like to stay for a longer shavasana please do so you can obviously turn off the video and just stay in this posture for as long as you please what feels comfortable for you but for those who are ready wiggle those fingers wiggle your toes and allow your body to become more aware of itself again and roll on to your favorite side when you're ready. And you can slowly push yourself back up into a seated position. And here, again, just thinking about how you got yourself on this mat today. You did the work, you put in the work, you did the effort. So thank you for joining us today and I, we hope to see you back on our channel for many, many classes to come. Thank you.